what is up guys welcome to the channel welcome back to another video and i know what you're thinking this video is starting out a little bit different i'm not kitted up ready to go cycle and that is true but i am currently recording this intro inside because it's pouring right now um so at the time of me recording this is july 3rd sometime in the afternoon that's not important um tomorrow though is july 4th and i get the day off as i believe most people do and I am planning to go out for a really long gravel ride, 100 miles. Um, it's my goal. The route that I have is 85, I believe, but I'm trying to add a little bit on top of that to make it 100. And that will be my second ever gravel ride. If you guys don't know, I got this beautiful uh, Cervelo Sparrow last week five, uh, in five black color. Uh, Scram Force is an absolute beauty. I've been enjo uh, enjoying a lot riding the gravel bike. Just um, I rode it that first day, which there's a video on the channel if you guys want to go check that out. I really, really appreciate that. And I rode it again once for a little recovery ride, um, and it's really, really dirty. I haven't been, I haven't got a chance to watch it. I've been super busy this week, so I was planning to go outside and watching the bike, and then doing a little bit of the intro and explaining to you guys what the whole plan for for tomorrow was. But that's not been possible because it's pouring outside. So, I do have a problem though. Tuesdays, and I'm gonna explain why. Explain what it is. Tuesdays are the hardest days for me of the week, and that is training-wise. I mean, I have this really big VO2 session tomorrow, uh, and I think it will be a little too hard to do on the on the uh, gravel bike. With a small 40 chain ring, I'll either be spinning or I'll be grinding. I don't know which one maybe not maybe i'm wrong maybe i'll be okay so i don't know yet if i'm gonna just go out and try and smash that interval session and then keep going with the ride or if i'm gonna wake up early do the interval session on the trainer and then go out and do the brow ride which i wouldn't i would much prefer to do it all at once so you know the all the miles are all together on one ride um but i don't know yet now my other option is on Thursday, I have this uh, this interval session, which I could swap because um, I think it would be a little bit easier. There are uh, the intervals are shorter in uh, duration, higher in power, shorter in duration. But I think that's probably doable on the on the gravel bike. So that's what I'm thinking about doing: moving my Tuesday interval session to Thursday and moving that Thursday one to Tuesday. Because the one from Saturday, it's longer; it's an hour and a half. It's a threshold threshold interval and I think that would be also a little too hard um, they're like 10 minute um, uh, threshold effort so I think that will also be a little bit hard on the and they're over under it's not just uh, threshold efforts so as of right now that's what the plan is I think I'm going to move that Thursday session to uh, tomorrow and then go out do that because uh, the gravel uh, route that I have is not completely gravel there is a little bit of uh, riding on the road required to get there so I'm thinking that would be enough time or if not I can always loop around and then come back and that would be enough time for me to get that interval session done and then that might even give me the extra 50 miles I have if I have to do a couple of loops on the road um, so that shouldn't be a problem so I don't want to make this intro too long it's probably already too long um, but I'm gonna wait for this rain to stop and I'm gonna go out and get the bike all washed up and and looking nice for tomorrow and um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I've been enjoying the gravel bike so much. Um, I can't wait. Now we're talking, boys. She's looking clean. I put a. Uh, I just cleaned the chain. Put some. Uh, Kudos Court. I just put another water bottle holder at the bottom just so I can take three of them. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's actually a, a mount for a water bottle there. I don't really like how it looks, but for tomorrow, I'm probably going to need it. So that's why I put it on there. I got the uh, I got some food in here. And then here I got some more food and I got a, a tubeless repair kit. Um, got the computer. I got a little light. It's not going to be dark for too long. It's gets the sun comes not the sun but it gets bright out at like six o'clock six thirty so i won't be i won't be out for too long before it gets bright i got a tail light right there just in case um let's see if this focus chain is 
nice and clean shoes are right there yeah I think uh, just gotta wake up have some breakfast and we'll get on the road good morning guys it is currently 550 right on target I wanted to leave by about six o'clock look at this thing man it's six six o'clock and I'm already getting a weather advisory on my computer that's insane this is Florida for you man I'm trying to record this video real quick I'm about to head out um, it is still dark um, so I got my lights on I should be all right but I don't know how much I'm, I'm gonna be able to record right now while I'm on the road but um, I will update you guys in a little bit I gotta get this interval session done <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to it man I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not looking forward to this uh, on the gravel bike and at night I don't think I ever done interval sessions so early uh, especially outside on the road but um, yeah, I'm gonna get that done, and then I might stop for a for a break at the gas station if I need water or something. Uh, I'll show you guys what I got. I got three water bottles. I got scratch. I'm ready to go. I just didn't record much inside because uh, Felicia is sleeping. I don't want to make too much noise. But yeah, guys, I'ma head out, and um, I, I guess I'll let the uh, sun kind of rise a little bit, and um, so I can record another video because I won't have any light. I'm in my porch right now, that's why I have a little bit of light. So yeah, I'm heading out. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright boys. Woo. At least the morning looks beautiful though. It's not too hot yet. But I mean I shouldn't be saying that. It's only like 6 30. But we're uh on a little rest period so you can see i'm freaking out of breath these damn anaerobic efforts are insane but it's actually pretty doable on the gravel bike i'm very surprised so yeah that was fun i think i still got another 30 minutes to go in the workout ah it's hard man it's hard well that's where the gains come from go hard or go home so yeah I'm gonna get that done. We're gonna keep moving. That's a wrap for that workout. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, I mean, anything anaerobic BO2 is gonna be hard. Um, when I say it wasn't bad at all, I mean it was very doable, especially because I'm on the uh, on the gravel bike. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful morning. I don't think you can see the sun there anymore. But beautiful morning. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the route now on the Garmin so I can follow it because I've never been here. I don't know if I mentioned that. I never done this route before, so I have no clue where I'm going. I know it's around here somewhere. So um, I did the first initial part of it, and now um, I'm gonna put the uh, put it on the Garmin so I can just follow it and. Uh, I think the route ends like a Picayun, which is like a uh, state forest, like five minutes from the house. So I think Felicia's gonna meet me there on her mountain bike, mountain bike, and we're gonna ride together for a little bit there. That way I might be able to finish my 100 miles. So yeah, let's get. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Oh shit. I think it's that one right there. Loading course, ride, navigate to the beginning of the course. That's a no. Let's see, there we go. Perfect. We're getting off road here. Right as I stop the video, look at this, guys. Heat advice. Guess what time it is? Literally, like freaking 7 a.m. in Florida. Look at this sign. It's already probably like close to 80 degrees right now. It's insane, man. It's insane. But it's got to keep eating and drinking and moving along. Man, I got scared for a second. I was like, sheesh. I just rode all the way here. And uh, and this thing is closed. But no, it says visitors welcome. Keep the fence closed. So, perfect. I guess, hope I don't get in trouble for this. Open this gate and squeeze. 
here without hitting the bike anywhere. Yeah. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Got it. Ah, it's been great so far. Freaking sweating. All right. We're in the gravel, boys. Then we gotta go through uh, this gate right here. So, I guess we're getting off again. And stop this thing. Get in through here. Let's try not to hit the bike anywhere. Please. Perfecto. Never been over here, guys. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Gravel looks pretty nice. So yeah. Ah, let's do it. The bike. There we go. Let's see what this. Uh, I guess I'll take you guys along for this beginning here. Um. There we go. It says course found. Got about 3.6 miles in here. Wow, this is nice, guys. It's it's uh it's pretty hot but it's like a nice breeze in here feels amazing i don't know what speed i'm going with it looks like i'm flying so far we're about 27 miles in i average about just a bit over 19 what i was on the road i don't know what i'm gonna average here now um so yeah i'm gonna try and do this last uh part of the ride or i guess the biggest part of the ride just like zone two try to stay in um in zone two and we'll keep going but look at this man this is this is just beautiful this is one of the reasons why i've been enjoying the uh gravel bike so much guys we just came from back there we're about an hour and 45 exactly 35 miles in it's got to a super cool spot um i don't know what that is over there um there's some bathrooms over there super cool if you got to use the bathroom and i think we're going that way um because this way it says campground so we're not going to the campground well yeah i was just uh <clears throat> freaking sweating man it's so humid um i was just eating something um i already had sitting a bar i had 90 grams of carbs I, had, I guess i didn't talk to you guys about that. See if i can even open this damn thing i guess they don't want the bears opening this damn thing all right hold up all right so throw the uh, trash away so I guess I didn't talk to you guys about that, but um, so before I left the house for breakfast, I mean, I had a, a lot of carbs yesterday, about 500 grams of carbs, 600, 550, I can't remember, somewhere around there. Um, and then this morning before I left the house, um, my breakfast was, I believe, like 110 um, grams of carb. So that's something really important for big rides like this. Man, I'm freaking sweating. I can't even see anything out of my glasses um for big rides like this is that's really important especially because i had a pretty hard workout to begin with and then it's probably going to take me like four hours five hours the whole ride um so that's why i'm trying not to stop but since i stopped to throw the trash away because i had to go through that gate um i figured i'd talk to you guys about that so the uh the ride starts the day before honestly because that's when you start um you know prepping up the bike the food um you got to figure out how much you're going to eat. Um, and I normally have about 60 grams. I'm trying 90 today. And it's mostly off of solid food because solid food is so hard to digest. Um, I know gels, I could do 90 grams for sure, 100 grams. Um, I have a pretty good stomach, but I want to try uh, see like solid food because that's going to help me by the end of the ride. Um, and then I'll get some carbs from my water bottles in the meantime uh, for like, like quick acting carbs. I mean, 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep moving along. We're going that way. Uh, like I said, I'm uh, now we're in 45, 35 miles in. We're almost... I think we we're averaging almost 20 miles an hour, honestly. I was flying through those roads. They're so nice. I was going like 20, 21. So yeah, I'm gonna keep moving on and um, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Can't get any freaking better than this. Beautiful, beautiful gravel. Coming up to a little bridge here. See if we can spot any gators. Gotta eat, boys. You wanna keep the power up? You gotta eat. We're uh, <clears throat> like about almost three hours in. Just got to Fakahachi. This is a park. Pretty nice. I'm just checking it out real quick. Um, I have to go the other way. I just wanted to see like what it was. It's pretty nice. I don't know if they have might have oh there's even a water fountain over there that's perfect actually I'll turn around. hopefully hopefully he's got water because i need some i still got one water bottle left though but i'm only like i'm not even 60 miles in yet so still got a while to go i think he's saying off segment but yeah they got bathrooms and a water fountain that's that's super nice yeah let me fill up the water bottles real quick I fill up the uh, filled up the water bottles. We're leaving the uh, little campsite, uh, whatever Fakahachi stand preserve, and we're gonna keep going. And from here, I should be going into Picayune, and from there, I should uh, should be meeting Felicia, and we'll I'll ride with her a little bit, and um, I'll get some more footage once I'm over there. I'm gonna try and hurry up so I can make it there, um, so she doesn't have to wait very long. We just got out of that single trail back there. Can't really see it. Uh, right where the sign is. Uh, I think that's where the Fakahachi ends. And we're about to get into uh, Picayune. So, gotta get to this gate here. Man, if it wasn't because I'm in Florida and there's so many gators here, I'll definitely jump on that water. I am so hot. It is ridiculous. But, uh... Felicia's waiting for me. I gotta go through this gate. Here, let's see. I'm gonna try and see if I can hold the thing with one hand. Here we go. Try not to hit the bike. I don't know how that video is gonna look, but uh, we just made it through the uh, through that gate. <clears throat> We're uh, three and a half hours in, 68 miles. I think I gotta go. I gotta keep going this way. And uh, and as for me, Felicia, she's got a little bit more water for me. I think nutrition has been going good. Uh, I feel I feel amazing. It's just really hot. I gotta remind myself to keep drinking. I had all the scratch I brought, um, but I do have more water. I got, at the, I got at that water fountain back there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going and see if I can meet up with her. This is insane. And I thought the other part back there was bad. This thing is... Oh, freaking flooded. So I'm gonna just try and walk. I'm not going through the, uh, I'm not going through the middle there. I'm just gonna walk my bike through here. My shoes are already soaked. So I guess that doesn't matter. But that looked pretty deep, so I didn't want to get in there. Oh, there's another big one over there, which looks even worse than this one. Well. I guess if I show you guys the good parts, I gotta show you the bad ones too. And this one definitely sucked. There's a really big one coming up. I don't know how I'm doing that one, but it might just, it looks pretty deep. Here we go, boys. That is 
is deep. Oh, oh man. That came over my freaking shoes. All right, we made it out of that insane flooded trail back there. Ugh. As I was coming out through one of them, seeing this beauty. Well, I didn't see her. I saw her. I saw a bike lane on the floor. I'm like, whoa, is somebody there? Is they're okay? What's going on? And then she comes out of the bushes. Uh, what were you doing in the bushes? What were you Don't doing? worry about it. Okay, well. No, I'm not going to worry about it. So she was coming out of the bushes and she actually caught me um, crossing the uh, thing. I'm freaking soaked. My shoes are soaked. I'm all dirty. Ride was going so great. I mean, it's going great. Honestly, I have no complaints. But um, up, up until that point, I was probably averaging over 20 miles an hour. And be, after the workout, I started another uh, lap. And I had average for like two and a half hours. I had average over 241 watts, which was great, uh, especially in gravel because it's so inconsistent to like keep pressure on the pedals. And as soon as I got on this trail, it just, I think I ended up with like 235, which is still fine, zone two. Um, so I'm at, right now I'm exactly 70 miles in. So I'm gonna ride with her a little bit. She rode 10 miles to get here. I'm gonna ride back to the truck. That'll be 20 for her. She'll ride home, and I'll um, ride around a little bit longer, so I can get to the uh, to the 100 miles. Old. So why are we stopping here? I don't know, this thing looks so good and I'm so hot. I think I'm gonna go for a little swim. Ten bucks if you jump off the bridge. I'll jump off. <laughs> no, I don't know how deep it is. Yeah, famous last words. Probably already soaked. Yeah. Is it cold? Oh yeah. Hope he doesn't come this way. We'll just go the other way. What? Go the opposite way. You're walking towards him. <laughs> that way. Was he little or big? Like a baby or just like mid size? Not a baby. Okay, because if it's a baby, the mommy might be close. You don't get all safe. I want to get out. Oh. I'm gonna shower today, right? <laughs> huh. That was the best part of the whole ride. <laughs> oh man, that was so refreshing. I can ride like another hundred miles now, I think. Get home and eat. How many watts are you doing? Two hundred and ninety. Should have brought a rope because this way I'm doing the watts that I'm supposed to be doing. 
we're going a lot faster. There's a big headwind. Now it's struggling. 160 watts. I'm not even pedaling. Well, we're going 13 miles an hour. <laughs> we could do this all day now. have successfully delivered her to the truck. She did a big ride, 20 miles. I still got 20 miles to go to finish the 100. And it's uh, 11.30, it's like the hottest time of day. So we're gonna get going and finish the 20. And I'll see you on home. All right, I'm gonna get going. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. What is up guys? Welcome back to where it all started. Pain cave slash men cave slash game room, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, yeah, it is no longer July 4th. It is July 5th and I did not record an outro yesterday for uh, for the video. Um, as you guys saw, I dropped Felicia off of the truck and just watched her drive away. And that was so, so hard. I just wanted to get on that truck so bad, put my bike on the back and just said, F the rest of the ride, I'm 80 miles in, I'm almost five hours in, I'm exhausted, I did my intervals this morning, I'm just gonna go home, but no. Uh, when I left home at 6 a.m., I sat out with the goal of getting my intervals done, um, which was the most important thing, and I did, and then all together do a 100 mile ride, meet her, a picking and ride with her a little bit and finish my 100 miles. I was just so cracked. I did not see myself wasting energy pulling my phone out to, to get any type of footage. I did not want to talk to the camera. Um, some things like this, this longer, long rides, um, they're not only physically hard, sometimes it's, it's more like your mental, because when you're just tired, exhausted, you just want to get home, all you're thinking about is food, taking a shower, um, you're, you're, even, even when you're cracked, even when you're bunking, you can still move at least at five miles an hour for hours before you actually just fall off the bike. It's just your, uh, your brain telling your body, you gotta stop, you gotta shut down, we can't do this anymore, it hurts. Um, so it's, I feel like up to that point, it gets more mental than it is physical. So that's why I feel like it's important sometimes to push through that. And that's why I said, no, I'm finishing the 100 miles, whatever it takes. I'm gonna try and do my best to, uh, to just make it home and finish the 100 miles at my doorstep, which I timed it perfectly. Um, yeah, those, those, that, I think the last, uh, the last 20 miles took me like over an hour, like an hour and something. I think I still averaged like zone two, like about 200 watts, which was okay, but I had no food. The only water I had was from all the water bottles that we had, we put whatever was left and I barely made one water bottle. So I knew it was gonna be hard. I knew it was gonna be tough. That's why I just wanted to jump on the truck and just leave, but I'm glad I did and I'm glad I got it done for you guys. And it just feels so good. And, it, and, and there's something that I, I don't know if I read it or I heard, but the suffering only, it ends at the end of the ride. Like once I got home, I had something to drink, I showered, like that was it. And I had no regrets. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys did too. Um, and yeah, it was it was mentally tough, but I, yeah, just after that, you're so glad that you finished it. You feel this like sense of accomplishment that you just can't beat. So, um, so I'll edit this video, I'll get it out. Um, it's probably gonna take me some time, uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm a newbie at this, so I try and do my best to to do a good job with it because I feel like it capture a lot. I capture a lot of footage. I just want to put it into perspective of, you know, how tough it was and not tough, but just how fun it was. Because the tough part, which was the last hour, I didn't, I just didn't see myself wasting any any energy pulling my phone out to uh, to try and record any of that. But with that, uh, I'll end the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoy that. 